everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the new movie, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. I'm a huge fan of both Guy Ritchie and Jake Gyllenhaal, so I had to go check this movie out. The synopsis is as follows. During the war in Afghanistan, a local interpreter risks his own life to carry an injured sergeant across miles of grueling terrain. So without further ado, let's get into the six things that make a movie great. One, the plot. This movie is best described in three acts. The first act is the buildup. You get to know all the characters, what their roles are, what they're all doing there, and the dynamics that certain friends or groups have with one another, including Sergeant John Kinley and his new interpreter, Ahmed. The second act has to do with Ahmed trying to save John Kinley by dragging him through terrible terrain. And the third act has to do with Sergeant John Kinley now trying to save Ahmed because the Taliban want to kill him and his family for him having helped Sergeant John Kinley. The storytelling in this movie is excellent. It's all very cohesive, the pacing is good, there's some slower moments and there's some really intense moments, but each act flows into the next very well. And when you arrive at the end of this movie, you're able to appreciate the really well told story that Richie made and the journey it took you on. I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here, but if there was one improvement that I wish they could have made, it was somehow making act three a bit longer. It felt like it was the shortest act of the three and I feel like they could have fleshed it out a little bit more. But regardless of that, the plot and storytelling were really, really well done. So for me, plot gets a thumbs up. Two is family friendliness. The Covenant is rated R. There's a moderate bit of profanity throughout this film, and there are a handful of intense action sequences that are violent and include blood and gore. That material is not suitable for a younger audience, so for me, family friendliness gets a thumbs down. Three is acting the script. Jake Gyllenhaal is absolutely a standout performance in every single movie that he's in. Not only does he pour time and research into these roles to where he can portray them more genuinely, but he also has such a good grasp on human emotion that he truly embraces every role that he's in, including playing Sergeant John Kinley. He does such a great job and he's absolutely captivating on screen for the whole movie. In addition to that, I must say there was also another huge outstanding performance in this movie, and that was from Dar Salim, who played Ahmed. He did such a good job portraying Ahmed and embracing this mysterious, yet highly experienced interpreter that starts to build this relationship with Sergeant John Kinley. Having both Salim and Gyllenhaal on screen at once led to some pretty awesome scenes including one scene that was just absolutely incredible. Something terrible happens and we find both Gyllenhaal and Salim sitting next to each other. And while there are not that many words spoken, the level of intensity and emotions is just palpable. The body language, the facial expressions, and the atmosphere that comes off of both Salim and Gyllenhaal is just so genuine and real. I teared up and got chills at the same time because I was like, holy crap, this is two incredible actors with an incredible director who know human emotions and know a situation like this so well that it seems so real. And the script of this movie was amazing. All the interactions and dialogue between characters were very well done and they seemed very genuine and real as well. Nothing stood out to me except for one kind of small detail in Act 3 that had to do with someone not knowing who John Kinley was. And I couldn't put my finger on why it bothered me or why it didn't seem to make sense to me, but it did kind of send an indicator to my brain of something's not right in this situation. But other than that, acting and script were excellent. So for me, acting and script get a thumbs up. Four is character development. This movie does an incredible job developing the relationship dynamic between Sergeant John Kinley and Ahmed. The more time they spend together and the more tension and friction that happens between them in high intensity situations build into this friendship that has a lot of depth despite them not knowing each other super well. It's kind of what happens when you have to trust someone with your life and you have a lot of opportunities to put that into practice. I thought that relationship was handled very well and it helps when you have two incredible actors and a great director making it all happen. In Act one, they do a good job of building some minimal character development between John Kinley and his team. And while they didn't have as much character development between Kinley and his family or Salim and his family that I may have wanted, they definitely exceeded the bare minimum to make this movie work. And as a result, you still felt those relationships to the extent that you needed to for them to matter. So for me, character development gets a thumbs up. Five is visuals and CGI. There are one or two scenes where you can clearly see Richie's influence in this film. They're more artistic. And while I understood what they were trying to portray and their value to the film in general, some audience members might not make that connection. It was just a creative choice, but I thought it did just fine. Everything else in this movie was incredibly well done. The action sequences were super intense. The camera angles and point of views and 
and perspectives were all very well done and they stood out. And that's one of the things that I really appreciate about Guy Ritchie films is the intense and well thought out action sequences. So for me, visuals and CGI I get a thumbs up. And six is rewatchability. Guy Ritchie's The Covenant is two hours and five minutes long. And although you feel it at different points in time, this movie definitely earns its runtime. This movie had both slow moments and high intensity moments, and they were well balanced throughout the film. The story in all three acts was very well told. So although you can kind of sense that this movie pushes over two hours, it doesn't take away from the fact that you were actively engaged and entertained the whole time. So for me, rewatchability gets a thumbs up. With all these areas considered, I have to give Guy Ritchie's The Covenant an 8.5 out of 10. This movie had an excellent story, good character building, very intense and well shot action sequences, and absolutely excellent acting performances that made everything you saw on screen feel very genuine and real. Ritchie is one of those directors that likes to use the same actors in his future projects, and I can't wait to see what the byproduct is as a result of Jillian Hall and Ritchie coming together. So if you're looking for an action movie with a great story that's well directed and has excellent acting performances, I would definitely recommend going to check out Guy Ritchie's The Covenant in movie theaters. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen The Covenant, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your love and support, and I'll catch you guys and gals in the next one.